on the beat. I'm here with Josh Clark, R&B singer extraordinaire. He's going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, this wonderful up-and-coming artist. Josh, how you doing? I'm very good. Good, good. to see you, boss. Nice to see you too. Man. You too. You too. <laughs> Welcome to the DP on Mr. P on the Beach Show, yeah. Diligent Studios. Yeah. <laughs> We're here in the vault. I like it. I like it. I yeah, want to. Now I was man. like, yeah, this is what's up. This, this is real. <laughs> sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet. So, Josh, uh, I heard some of your music. It's outstanding. It's really good. I'm really happy to hear. You know, young, talented people keeping the spirit of R&B alive. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, but so, so tell me, when did you get started in music? I mean, I've been doing it since, like, as long as I can open my mouth. <laughs> you know, and my family's in it. Um, I know I was, I was out of it for a little bit, you know, going through high school as a troubled teen. You know, I got it. I got my, I guess, my signature back. Um, and then I've just been going hard ever since. Actually, my grandfather, you know, he gave me this piano that he had, this small little cheap keyboard. And uh, he was like, I don't know what's going through your head right now, Josh, but I know you're out of music, but here's this piano, take it home with you, and I promise you, you're gonna get back into your music one day. And then a couple of years later, he like foretold the future, and then from there it was like, it was it, it was a rap. Nice, <laughs> you know, awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. So, so drums was your first instrument? Drums was my first instrument. I actually started playing the drums at a very young age. Um, you know, played locally local bands and stuff like that yeah. and uh, try to perfect my craft. Right. Yeah. When you say young age, what age do you mean specifically? I'm talking about like four years old. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I tell people that <laughs> they're like four years old, they're yeah. like, boy, can you just, can you walk even? I'm like, obviously I'm four, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just, well, it, you know, it's, it's, it's um, a lot of people who, who want to get into music now, yeah. you know, they, they think, well, you know, all I have to do is like, pick up sticks and play drums or whatever yeah. have you. But you know, there's years of discipline. Exactly, obviously. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and to hone your craft and, and piano as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It just takes, as you said, discipline and just putting the time in, you know, anybody, I feel like if they really want to do something, they can learn anything they want to. From music to engineering to computer sciences, you know what I mean? It just takes the time and effort. Of course. Yeah. So everybody out there, like, don't give up on your dreams. Just Put in the work. I grew up on some Shy. Right. I grew up on some Maxwell. Um, I love Maxwell, man. Right. Uh, Stevie Wonder, I love Stevie. Um, I could even bring it into Sade, a little bit of Sade. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just like people who are putting out hit Jodeci, oh my gosh, and Usher. Like, oh, people okay. compare me to Jodeci and a little bit of Usher at the same time just because I have that R&B feel, obviously, but it's just the, the beats that I'm going over, the sounds and the, right. and, the, and the rhythms, the way I'm speaking, you know, in my songs and my context is, it's yeah. from that era, you know, so. Yeah, that makes sense. You got that nice silk velvety voice. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Man. Like, I don't, I don't try to do too much, you know, I just myself and I just picture my voice just flowing over the beats just naturally. Mm -hmm. I'm trying too hard. Tell me about your support team. Um, well, my management team, you know. Managed on the new Sound Entertainment and International House of Music um, to power right our hitters and uh, for sure, you know, without them, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, I probably would be doing something a little bit less, but like I feel like right now I'm in the right hands. What I'm trying to say, you know what I mean. And now it's time to put everything that I worked so hard for right on the front and just give them my all because good people is around me and that's all that I really needed. Right on. You know what I mean, for my career to move forward, so I'm blessed. Uh, I heard you have a single coming out. Yes, this thing is called One Night. Um, so now, the songs that I have out there are more R&B, but I'm gonna try something different with this song. Um, I'm an R&B singer already, so as right. you guys know, but the, the record that I'm going over, the beat that I should say that I'm going over, it's like this Caribbean type of vibe, you know, mm -hmm. especially for the ladies, something for the ladies to dance to. Even the fellas can relate a little bit. Right but on. this one specifically for the ladies, I feel like, because come one night, so 
once you guys hear the song and it comes out you everybody will fully understand what the song is one about. night huh? one night it's pretty it's pretty straightforward you know? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> and, and it sounds it sounds good it sounds amazing you know i feel like it can be a song for top 40s for r&b charts uh you know popular charts anything you know yeah I mean? because i just feel like it reaches a, a huge demographic yeah. yeah oh my gosh speaking of performing like performing is like my favorite thing to do as well so yeah well we're gonna get a chance yeah. to do that uh, tonight sure. and do some yeah. stuff at b-side sure. oh some live instrumentation i'm looking forward to that sweet yeah. sweet sweet my future's um, looking bright <laughs> very bright um as i said before i got good people around me and uh i'm focused as ever you know i feel like i'm in my prime i'm ready to just like put everything on, on the front lines I'm ready to go. Yes, uh, January 20th at 27th Nightclub. Um, the release party is not going to be in Toronto. It will be in Ottawa. Okay. So I got I got a lot of fans out in Ottawa and I have fans. Hopefully the fans out here in Toronto can make it out to Ottawa and as well support me for the release party for uh, my new single called One Night. And it's going to be good. And it's going to be all ages. So, you know, 15 and up. You know what I mean? So. As I said, that song is going to reach a bigger demographic, you know what I mean? I feel like it's for everybody. So that's why I made it all ages, so people can come out and enjoy. And it goes from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's free. Awesome. <laughs> and all charity goes to Chio Foundation. Oh, sweet. So we have a charity that we're, uh, you know, sponsored under. Mm -hmm. And sick kids, so, you know, I believe in that. I believe in helping others. Yeah, giving back. Yeah, giving really back important. is important. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I came from a rough past, from not having anything. So now it's like, why not just help everybody else who's coming up as well? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I believe in that entirely. Yeah. Now, um, how do you find, as an artist, do you, do you, do you find uh, it easier to get your name out there? Do you find it challenging? Yeah, I mean, like, it's 50-50. Mm, it's easier because uh, if you really know how to use the internet game, there's a, there's a way how to use the internet, and there's always a wrong way to use the internet, you know what I mean? So, once you figure out that uh, that chemistry, you know, right. like, to get your music heard and to get your music out to the fans, then it becomes easy. But it's all finding out, like, who you are as an artist, right. you know what I mean? So, like, I know who I am as an artist, mm -hmm. and now I'm starting to see the momentum pick up right. on my social media outlets, like my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube. You know what I mean? Because I'm starting to figure out who I am. I feel like once people see the music is good and they see you being yourself and you want to expose yourself to the world because you want people to get to know you, then um, those things will attract on to you. Get in touch with my manager on social media. Sap Entertainment. Sap Entertainment is S A A B S Entertainment. And you guys can reach me at all platforms Instagram, Facebook, Josh Clark Music. So that's Josh Clark, the big guy band, music. You guys can tell me, ask me any questions that you do. And how many years have you been committed to your art? Um, a long time. I remember, I think I've been taking it pretty serious since I was like, you know, 18. So I think it's been about five, six years. Five, six, yeah, six, years. Five, six years. Oh, wow, yeah. 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 That's pretty serious. But I was always, you know, doing other stuff. You know what I mean? So, like, as a whole, I can probably say, like, realistically speaking, technically, like, eight, nine years. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to study my craft. Right. And I didn't even put myself out there. I was just always writing. I have books at home like that. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Just stacking up writing, trying to figure out what mm -hmm. I want to do with myself, or where yeah. I want my music to yeah. be, you know, what I want it to sound like. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and I think this is important because, um, you know, the, the dedication that goes into perfecting and Definitely. owning your art is, is it takes years, it takes years to really get to that that point where um, you know you're seasoned. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, and and that that happens with time, just exactly. like a good wine. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So uh, and, and you can tell, I mean, like I said, the first time uh, I was introduced to your music and I listened to it and I was like, yeah, okay, this this is this is somebody who's committed. This okay, is cool. somebody who's seasoned. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And and that and that it shows through yeah. your through your music. Appreciate it. Um, it may be hard at first, uh, you know what I mean? You might get a lot of uh, bull crap <laughs> along the way. People may try to put you down and steer you off track, but just stay focused. Once your head is in the game, once you're committed, then you guys can conquer and do anything you want to. Trust me, believe that.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I believe that too. And, and um, you know, as an artist myself, yeah. uh, kind of stuck to the stuck to that. Yeah. Know, those goals and, and, and focused on the yeah. path to and look what we got you. Yeah, and here good. we are. Yeah, man. Mr. P on the beat. Success. Doing it live. Good job. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Once again, Mr. Josh Clark here at DP Studios. Thank you. And uh, in Vault. And uh, looking forward to uh, seeing this wonderful gentleman pursue his dreams and become the next R&B sensation out of Toronto and Ontario. <laughs> And uh, so this is how we do. Stay tuned, Mr. P on the beat. Cheers. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Josh Clark and this song I'm about to perform for you guys is called They Don't Know. Baby, 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 baby 
forever, baby. No, 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 no. Let's not get too personal. I just wanna take it all. Baby, I'm not trying to fall in love. Can you give me what I'm asking for? Girl, tonight let's make magic. I've been waiting all night with your body on me, babe.